All right, guys, so it's been an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. Now, tomorrow is an epic day. Very important because something's going to happen and we're heading somewhere. Yee! I can't wait for you guys to come along tomorrow's vlog. Hey, guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. We're doing some errands, guys, today. Yes, back in the Mabuhay bus. Good morning. That's Koya Roman. Ah, yes. Air conditioning, guys. Air conditioning. I miss being in here, guys. By the way, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. This is RJ Garcia. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Come join the Mabuhay squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Today's gonna be an adventure, guys. I like it, I like it a lot. Man, love going outside, guys. All the things we took for granted before, right? Even the simple things of just going out and looking out in the world. Well, something certainly RJ and I don't do often. I mean, other than, of course, the white spaces at Sonia's garden. So grateful for that. But I mean, like, going out and seeing other people and buildings and, you know, other places. Like, I miss even that simple act. Okay guys, so we're here at like a plant nursery, but they also sell cool tiles. So we're looking at tiling now. Wow, this looks nice. Um, so RJ, this is for the aviary, right? It's looking really nice. Look at that. It's like cut stone. Wow. We're gonna buy a small slab for 180 pesos, just so we could like show it to our interior designer, maybe bring it into our aviary and kind of envision if it would work. Personally, I think it would work as like the flooring for the aviary. I still don't have a clear vision as to what our aviary will look like, but we have some time to uh, design and plan, guys. So we're gonna get this. All right, that was fun. Ooh. If you're new to the channel, um, RJ and I are building our future farmhouse. And right in the middle of the house is a like two, three story aviary. What's an aviary? It's basically like pretty much one huge bird cage. <laughs> um, it was supposed to be the home for our African gray parrot who sadly passed away. So like she couldn't um, enjoy the aviary. She'll enjoy the aviary from heaven or maybe she'll reincarnate into one of the birds that we put in there. But anyways, yeah, so the center of the home is a really big, essentially bird enclosure. What kind of birds we're gonna put in there? Not sure, I'm thinking really small birds, but the plans keep changing like every second in my mind, so who knows. But yeah, so trying to design the aviary, my thing is I would love for it to look really beautiful in like a tropical garden, you know, inside. That's how I see it in my head anyway, with like beautiful flowers and epiphytes and like lots of gorgeous driftwood that goes all the way up to the the roof deck and so I'm thinking we might have to uh, commission a landscaper to help me design the inside of the aviary someone who just knows how to um, choose the correct species of plants and of course with my experience with birds I'll be able to say okay this plant will work this plant won't because it's toxic to parrots blah 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 so that's gonna be a whole project guys um up ahead and I, I can't wait i think it's gonna be such a cool cool feature for the home because no matter where you are in the house like you could be in the first floor or you can be up on the second floor you can um, or even the roof deck you can admire some birds i just find birds to be really peaceful and calming and Birds just have good energy. They represent freedom and like joy and they're singing and you, you know all that. All you bird owners, Mabu High Squad, represent in the comments, you guys know exactly what I mean. Birds are like angels on earth, really. So yeah, really excited about our upcoming aviary and hope we get to choose the correct tiling. All right, guys, now we're at a place called Miara's, the coffee place of our good friend Myra and Rainier. You remember them, the art collectors. And guys, look, see, sip and brew. Guys, look at this beautiful view of Tagaytay. Man, every time I see this view, it's so breathtaking. Take a look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's just a huge expanse of space. Apparently, this is like a volcanic lake. This whole lake is one huge crater or something like that. And then uh, last year, at the beginning of last year, one of the craters erupted and so much ash came spewing out. But yeah, this here is Tagaytay, guys. 
If you come to Manila in the Philippines, you guys must visit Tagaytay. It's like one and a half hours outside of Manila, Manila, and it's really close to where we're staying right now at Sonia's Garden. Gorgeous! Awesome, they offer bubble tea here and all kinds of like, see look, coffee of course. How neat! Quite the selection. Oh, they have food too! Mmm. -hmm. Hmm, I'm gonna get coffee, that's for sure. And I'm also going to buy some of uh, Myra's coffee beans. Yes! So I can brew it in our cottage. Oh wow, guys, look! You guys know this plant that's crawling up this balcony from below? It looks like a cactus, right? Well, it is! It's a climbing cactus. It's dragon fruit. See that right there? That's a dragon fruit. How awesome! Man, I really hope we can grow dragon fruit at the Mabuhay Squad Farm. So cool! Mmm! Love dragon fruit. So healthy and also high in fiber. So guys, it's been forever since I've eaten a burger, like a legit burger. Okay, this here though is a chicken burger. But I can't wait to eat it! By the way, it's been a long time because two months ago I switched my diet from like sort of like a keto-ish uh, intermittent fasting diet, which I've been on for gosh, many years, five years or so, even before it had a name, keto. Um, and I switched to like a new diet where <clears throat> I'm using an app to track my macros and my micronutrients, right? Um, so I eat everything now, <laughs> but I do keep track of like what nutrients I get and I try to make sure I reach all my nutrient requirements, but not go too much over a certain nutrient. Whatever. Anyways, I can't wait to eat this chicken burger because it's been forever. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. 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 It's a very simple chicken burger. It's like chicken, lettuce, mayo, and like, what is that? Cheese? Cheese sauce? Oh my gosh. Mmm. But it's so good. Oh. Oh my god. I. Oh my god, they started they started playing my YouTube videos over the <laughs> over the PA. Okay, that's kinda weird. That's my voice. Okay, anyways, guys, it's so good. Five Mabuhai stars for this chicken sandwich. Mmm. Better have a bite. One. Mm. Isn't it good? Oh my gosh! Um, mm. Yeah, it's good. Very good. Comes with fries too, guys. Mm. I've been walking down the street. I'm looking for balot. This isn't the first time this has happened, right, Audrey? When we travel around the Philippines, I guess like the staff will recognize us, and they'll just like put on our YouTube videos or our music, and <laughs> it'll like catch us by surprise. And you know what? I don't feel weird because like the one who's singing now, in my mind, that's a character I made and that's a certain voice I've created. So I feel like it's more of like an artwork. I don't see that as me. Does that under does that make sense? And I use papaya soap to wash my face. <laughs> see like it's a, it's an actual character, guys. Right? And you know what's funny is one of the staff, Joel, at Sonia's garden said that he was surprised that when he watches my YouTube videos, he feels like it's not me because he sees RJ and I interacting in real life and I'm really quiet and boring, guys. And this is something that I always was insecure about. Like when, um, you know, like fans would approach, I feel like there's this little pressure to like live up to the expectation of what they think I'm gonna be like. And I always have this fear that like people would find me boring in real life. I'm just like really quiet and like, I don't know, almost like the characters I create on YouTube are big, right? They're big, loud, vibrant, vivacious, funny characters, right? Pinoy boy, right? But in real life, I'm not like the... I mean, unless I'm drunk. This here that they're playing is our Freddie Mercury parody. Courting Mary Grace, she says no way. I try again tomorrow with makeup on my face. I am feeling, feeling guapo. Did you enjoy filming this parody? Yeah. This is one of our favorites for sure. Guys, we have some friends here. What's your name? Jake. Po. Jake and? Alvin. Alvin, yes. Thank you so much, guys, for the coffee and the food. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Thank you. OMG guys, this is like Mikey Bustos greatest hits day. What they're playing now is, is uh, Oppo Pinoy style, which was our parody of Gagnam style. And RJ and I are just rehashing memories of filming this because we had just started dating. Had it been a week, we were like boyfriends for a week when I was like, RJ, I need to like film this parody. Can you help me? And this is what started it all. In, in, in fact, you can see RJ marching <laughs> in the music video. It's hot their hair And that is why my skin is brown And you'll find what their hair I was dating him at the time And nobody knew Yee, <laughs> you Good memories Oppo Pinoy style Thanks guys, bye Guys, be sure to visit this place It's called Miara Cafe Here in Tagaytay View is beautiful Ambiance is awesome Stuff is great Food is good Coffee is really great We bought two bags Ah, uh, what an event That was such a nice Today was such a nice, awesome day And the weather is great Wow, thank you life There's also an art gallery right next to it So if you like art, you can check out the artworks too It's actually where I bought one of RJ's birthday gifts this year um, You know that painting where it's like a little boy at a beach Outstretched arms He said, he saw it And he's like, hey that that looks like me when I was young. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, got it. I told Myra and Rainier, I'm gonna buy that painting. So guys, there are paintings in that gallery that are for sale. Beautiful, beautiful artworks. We're actually also getting three pieces of art from one of the artists that also creates art for that gallery. Um, but we'll reveal that artwork to you on a future date because <laughs> it's for our house. Anyways, wow, what a great day, Mambu High School. This was an awesome day. Very simple, awesome joys. Mm, heart full of gratitude. Hey guys, we're back. We're back. Yes, hey doggies. Oh, hi at the LC. Guys, at the LC is back. They had changed our carpet. I like this carpet. It's beautiful. It like warms up the room. Awesome. Hey guys, did you miss us? Did you miss us? Oh, I know you missed us too. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. So, Cypher and Rizal got vaccinations yesterday. So happy that he got his vaccination because in two weeks, yay, we can finally take you outside to step on the ground. And I do plan on potty training him to pee and poo outside, finally. A dog this size, it's very hard guys to train them to pee inside the house because, or poo inside the house because it really does smell um, much better outside. Hey, I can't wait. Yes, he's always. All right, guys, let's see our positive affirmation for Tuesday, September the 14th. I know I am on the right track when I feel good. Ooh, there you go, guys. Did you feel good today? It tells you you're on the right track. So hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. And I feel really good right now because Rizal just peed on the puppy pad. Good boy. Good boy, Rizal. Good boy. Rizal loves playing with Sahara, and Sahara is becoming much more tolerant of him roughing her up. You know what I mean? <laughs> look at them. Look at them. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My boy squad, you won't believe what RJ bought secretly without me knowing while we were out. This is hilarious. My boy squad, you guys will laugh when you see what RJ got at the store. It's this. <laughs>